Just awesome. It's, it's a great festival. I, I hope it keeps on going. Uh, I mean, uh, I think it's the first time in India there's been such a diverse festival, a festival which features such a diverse range of music. So it's very exciting. Uh, and uh, yeah, if it comes on next year, we'll be back. <laughs> uh, what, what brought us together was love of music. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, and, and we, quite, quite a few of these guys were part of, part of a, another choir called the MBS Youth Choir. It's a large choir, so they, they had some choral training before. Um, and then we formed a small ensemble, and uh, we've been together for quite a few years now. Music comes from, it's, it's diverse, because that's why we call it Asima. Asima means border, Asima means beyond border. So basically, uh, I'm a I'm a Western trained classical musician. Uh, some of the most of the singers are Carnatic trained musicians. I also studied Hindustani music. One of the singers studied Hindustani music. Uh, Kutan is a classical uh, percussionist. So it's a range of different uh, genres and influences, which uh, goes beyond borders. I don't think it has. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, we basically create music for ourselves. Well, I, perhaps I should say I, I create the I mean, music that I write, I write music that I, that I like. And, uh, and we hope that audience also likes it, and it seems that audience does like it. But uh, we are selfish. We write music for ourselves. Indian classical music is one of the greatest chamber musics in the world. Uh, and it's not just me that says that. It's, it's, in terms of the sophistication of the level of skill which it, uh, which it, it requires, there is, it's, as, it's as good, if not better, than any other chamber music anywhere in the world. And I love it, yeah. Next big, big thing is dinner. <laughs> 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 Two drinks and then dinner. <laughs>